So I'm going to begin the session. I assume that everybody agreed and consent to the to the recording. So, uh, Dr. Becky, uh, most welcome. I'm very glad and grateful for the opportunity here at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, especially as the Department of Agricultural Leadership, Education, and Communication. I'm really learning a lot, and above all, I acknowledge the connections I make here, like people like you, Dr. Suzanne, Dr. Mary, Dr. Helen. Dr. Ekin, my advisor, the department in general is really amazing. And so today it's a chance for us to hear like an American perspective, what it means to be a student here, what it means to be uh, a master, what it means to be a university professor in the United States, so what it takes to uh, go through all these ways. So uh, as this, is, this is really like a very informal kind of discussion. So. Uh, Dr. Becky, the floor is yours uh, for the coming 10, 15 minutes. So please tell us who you are and uh, like how was your uh, memories from early education to high school and also university. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you as we go. So please most welcome and go ahead. Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry for the inconvenience. I had a problem today with my audio setting, but now it's working. I can hear you very well. In some cases, I think one of the things kind of across the board that I've had to learn in the process is, you know, maybe I'm not doing that good a job sometimes. And I, I do need that feedback. And so I think some of those, those lows, while they've really been ultimately learning moments, um, you know, when you get that, when you get that rejection on an um, as much as, as much as we take it as a learning moment, doesn't mean it doesn't hurt a little bit as, <laughs> as you're kind of processing, processing through those things. Um, in terms of enjoying academia and you know kind of that whether being a university professor was a dream or i kind of just happened into it by chance i think there were i i won't say that from like a little kid i always wanted to be a university professor when i grew up um i think though there were a lot of things that just the, the right people were in my life at the right times that really helped solidify that as a path for me and so um the first is is my my grandfather. Um, I very clearly remember the day that he told me that I could be a teacher. Um, they were actually moving at the time, um, and I told him that I wanted to be to be just like him. And the job he was doing isn't isn't one that that I could do. But he said, you know, being a teacher would be something very much like that and when you said when we were talking about when we say like that not so much the um the actual teaching part but the heart for service and the opportunity to help develop other people and the opportunity to help others others grow and what's important to them um was something that was really instilled in me i, I think i was five or six years old when my grandpa told me that i could do that and so i knew that i wanted to be a teacher and I think kind of going through school, I always kind of wanted to teach the grade I was in. I remember being in third grade and wanting to be just like my third grade teacher. And in fourth grade, wanting to be just like my fourth grade teacher. And in sixth grade, wanting to be just like my English teacher and <laughs> just kind of all the way up. Um, and then when I was, yeah, when I was in my undergrad, my, we went on a trip. Um, we went on a short-term domestic study trip and we were kind of doing the pre-trip stuff, getting ready to go. And I gave a pretty cop-out answer when kind of asked why we wanted to go on this trip. And my advisor just looked at me and said, you're not going to be happy in the high school classroom. And I had not really given higher ed a thought until that, until that point. And he said, you know, you've just, you've just got bigger questions that you're, you're going to want to answer. And I think I saw that pretty quickly when I got into the high school classroom, even though I told my admin like this is what I'm going to be doing I don't think I realized quite what I I know I didn't realize what I was getting into um and so heading into my master's program and starting to be able to ask questions 
I think one of the things I really enjoyed about heading into a graduate program was all of a sudden I had time to ask and answer questions and I had the tools to ask and answer questions and I could engage in a different conversation than I was able to before. And so I think, you know, whether, <laughs> whether dream or chance, um, I, I don't know if I have a super clear answer on that. I don't know that there was always as much intention as we would maybe say, like, here was, here was the dream as a, as a kid and here's how this executed. Um, but I think I see a lot of places where the right people were, were in my life and the right, through the, through the right experiences that really kind of put me on the path to where I am. Um, yeah, as far as, as far as commitment and ability to host future graduate students or, um, work with future colleagues, I will, um, this, this will kind of probably be the, be the bummer. I do not currently have assistantship funding for graduate students. Um, and I do have pretty limited capacity for the next two years or so to be able to participate in other, in additional projects or collaborate on projects. Um, so as far as like what I'm actually able to offer or commit to, um, I can respond to messages and I can give advice and I can, <laughs> um, can, can bounce ideas around, but I'm pretty limited in my capacity to be able to actually offer funding or um, collaborate on research. Yeah, thanks very much. So uh, as far as questions are concerned, maybe you might receive a lot after this session. So just tell them you can also come in, answer questions <laughs> here all together. Sometimes I get a lot. One of the reasons I do this discussion is because Sometimes I get a lot of questions and I answer them here. Like, okay, let's meet next Saturday and then we'll answer all these queer questions. Like, yeah. So, the, so I, I might host you again. Just let me know if you receive questions. And okay. then you, you know, it you also help others. Your one question you answer to a student might answer for many others. So, uh, yeah, I think that's very big opportunity and uh, it's good to tell them clearly also what is currently realistic at hand. Uh, being a teacher or a professor in a university doesn't mean always you keep accepting every month or every year. <laughs> so resources, commitments, uh, especially having the funding, we know it's a very, very important factor to accept students. So that's what I've been telling them, just reach out to professors and then ask mm -hmm. if they're accepting students, yes or no. Then you can continue to the next discussion. So. Yep. Yeah, I think this has been a very uh, nice uh, uh, session. So let me see if there are any other additional questions, suggestions. You know, the, today I also have a visitor from California. His name is Seifu. He came only to meet with me from California. We didn't know each other before I started AC Ethiopia. <laughs> so like this is how, you know, when you do something good, then a lot of uh, nice uh, ideas and people follow. So uh, you are a witness like uh, now we're already in the same mission. We we are in the very nice department and I think UNL University of Nebraska have huge, huge opportunities to share and, uh, you know, support people, especially resource poor countries. So, and uh, you are one of those people. So thank you so much, Dr. Becky. And let me see. Do we have other questions, Million? Are you satisfied? Or do you have additional questions? I know Dr. Million, he's in uh, Italy. He is from Jimma. It's one of from universities in Ethiopia. He's from engineering background. So he helped about four or five grad students to get a chance to study in Europe. So thank you very much, Brother Million, for mentoring the future leaders of Ethiopia and Africa. So I really would like to mention that. So, uh, Brother Kabbade, you can continue. Yeah, thank you, Fakadu. Thank you, Dr. Becky. I really appreciate your uh, experience. I hope uh, most of the audiences will learn a lot from, you know, your journey in general. Uh, I have a little bit question regarding the recruitment process in academia, particularly in the U.S. Uh, I don't know if you have any experience regarding uh, the recruitment process, mainly for postgraduate and research assistant positions. 
can you highlight some, you know, uh, the general process, how the recruitment goes on, starting from, you know, job announcement and then particularly the screening process, if you have any uh, experience regarding that. In addition, you may also uh, cover how, you know, uh, professors recruit PhD students as well, if, if, if possible. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thanks for the question. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've actually had the opportunity to sit on several search committees for um, faculty hiring positions, mostly at during my time at Oregon State. Um, and then have, I also had the opportunity while I was a graduate student at Oregon State to help with the, um, with the PhD student recruitment process. So I can speak to a process. <laughs> Um, and it varies widely depending on university and then specific department. But in general, um, and I'll speak to PhD recruitment first, and I'll speak to it for agricultural education in the United States. Um, I can't speak a ton to other departments and how, how those operate. Um, but most commonly for agricultural education in the United States, we'll start to see announcements for um, doctoral level assistantships start to come out um, probably in October, November, um, really, and they'll kind of continue through the rest of the year, depending on the university and their process. They will have um, kind of an open window for application. Um, I know at UNL, our application for graduate studies closes mid-December, um, and so applicants need to apply through a system um, where they share their their background, their research experience, um, GR graduate record examination or GRE scores, um, or evidence of quantitative, verbal, and qualitative reasoning, um, and then the process real the the process ultimately um, kind of hinges on two things. One um, is faculty capacity because even when funding exists to really provide a good experience for a graduate student, there's a heavy amount of mentoring involved. And I think about that both from my own experience as a graduate student and my experience in, in hosting or in advising graduate students, because essentially we're, we're training somebody to be university faculty. And I think part of, part of that that I didn't really recognize, especially being in social science, um, I didn't really recognize going into graduate school that I wasn't training to be a teacher educator. I wasn't going to learn how to, I wasn't going to learn more about how to teach people. Um, they kind of expected me to know how to teach already when I came into graduate school. Really graduate school was teaching me how to be a researcher. And that's, um, you know, when we think about across fields, um, that really is what graduate school is focused on is training how to be a, a contributing researcher and are there opportunities to develop in teaching absolutely but the focus is really how do i research and contribute to the research in in my field and so when we think about really the skills that are going to set people up to be successful then in graduate school it's really are do, do they have do they do they question things like a researcher are we starting to see are we able to see evidence of of being able to participate in the research conversation. Um, another big piece, and this kind of ties into capacity, another big piece of that is, is alignment. And so there is, there's the reality that, that graduate students do, do a lot of work for universities in the United States. Um, and faculty capacity depends a little bit on alignment with graduate students. It actually does depend quite, quite a bit on um, alignment of faculty and grad, potential graduate student interest. And so how closely do we align in what we research and study? And a lot of that, in fairness to the graduate student, I'm only going to be able to help someone out so much if our fields differ and even if our interests differ within the, like, within the, same, within the same field. And so, um, so the first, the main two criteria, funding and capacity, but capacity really ends up um, also being being determined somewhat by aligning aligning interest. And I think my my encouragement to those listening is not to 
diminish your interest to a faculty members because that won't be fair to you and your experience. It kind of goes back to the enjoyment we talked about before. Um, you know, what are what are you really interested in? What are the problems you're looking to solve in the world? What are the what are the big hairy issues you want to be able to tackle through the field that you're studying? Because um, that's also I think we we often approach faculty as if they are they're the person that's going to solve everything for us. And we forget the network that they're part of. So if we think back to even talking about Alpels and the people I collaborate with there, agricultural education, as an example, is a relatively small field. And so we're, we're pretty connected across the United States in terms of um, what my colleagues research and what their interests are. And so the, the more, for, for my part, um, and this is probably more personal to me, is I'm looking for graduate students, the more honest a, a potential recruit is about their, their interests, the better I'm really able to say, you know what, hey, our interests don't align, but here's this other opportunity. And I think recognizing that that one inquiry isn't necessarily your, the only shot. So the more clear and honest you can be, the more likely you'll be directed to, to where that best opportunity really might be. Um, when we talk about after graduation and recruitment, um, again, for agricultural education professor positions um, in the United States, usually those, we've already started seeing those posted for next year. Um, and so there are already, already university professor positions open. Usually the call is looking for a degree in a related field and, you know, several other criteria. The actual process then is an application of, you know, your your experience, both research and teaching, um, knowing that in agricultural education, you'll be expected to teach and help prepare teachers. Um, and then the process really in terms of, of the interview is really a day of, a day or possibly two of getting to meet with faculty and students and teach classes and really kind of showcase the job that you'll be, you'll be asked to do. And there are several um, PhD recruitment positions that will ask you to do similar, just as almost a uh, calibrating expectations for what the assistantship will involve. Yeah, thank you very much. I think Brother Kabada asked a very uh, important question that a lot of people would ask you, like, if I apply for UNL or University in US, what are the requirements? I always get this kind of question, so you did really give a very good uh, explanation about that process, especially looking at the interests between a potential academic advisor and the uh, profile of the student. I think that has been a very uh, nice point because from my experience also, getting the academic advisor, someone who would say yes, I would advise you, it's a very big step forward towards this, uh, being accepted and admitted here. So I think that's a very good uh, Point. So I think I see uh, Seifu uh, raising his hand, his hand. So Seifu, please continue. Brother Kabada will we'll come back to you if you have other questions. Uh, let me know, OK? So Brother Seifu, please continue. OK, thank you, Fukadu. And thank you, uh, Dr. Becky, for taking the time out of your family's time um, to share your experience and uh, help us. I have a nagging question that has been in my mind for quite some time, and it's related to food security. I'm just wondering, um, we in Ethiopia have a need um, for, for importing food from other countries. Like in recent uh, news, I heard 20 million of uh, our population is is waiting for some kind of support from outside of Ethiopia. There's no lack of land, arable land that is. Um, yeah. and we can produce as much as we can, uh, we need to, or I have no idea what's going on. Whether it's a govern government policy that's uh, misdirected or, I don't know what's going on, but uh, is there, from your experience or from your research, is there a reason uh, some of the um, third world countries rely on uh, importing 
food from countries such as uh, Ukraine and Russia is what I hear. Uh, we are importing um, wheat from those countries. What is your your input on this? What is your opinion? What where did we go wrong? Why are we searching for food from other sources when we have plenty of land uh, to cultivate? And thank you for your time. Sorry, I'm just writing writing the question to make sure I, I have all of it. So my, my answer here is going to be relatively short because this is, it is not my area of expertise and there are, there are economic and political factors at play that I will not speculate on because I do not fully, I do not fully understand. Um, I can, I can speak from the U.S. perspective and I think one of the, one of the things we see in the U.S. is we see that, that people aren't, aren't connected with where their food, where their food comes from and even how to, how to go about engaging with, with agriculture. Um, I think we start to see a little bit of a resurgence of that in urban areas with, with urban gardening and um, community crops type programs. Um, but ultimately, um, when we're, when we're disconnected, and this is disconnected, this, I think we, we see this across societies and across the world when we're disconnected from opportunities to really engage with, with each other and with our soil and with our, with our communities, we, we, we miss opportunities to really understand what our, what our land does well, what the people around us do well. And so I'm sorry, I don't have a better answer. That's going to, this is going to be a question that will continue, that will nag at me probably for a long time as I, as I dig in and try to understand a little better. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Seifu. Uh, so Seifu is the one from California. Currently, he is here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And he came exactly for, to find ways we can, you know, expand and uh, have a strong foundation in relation to what we are doing now, how to effectively engage, especially with the African diaspora community here in the United States. The Ethiopian community is very big here. We have a lot of Kenyans, a lot of Nigerians, a lot of Somali, a lot of South Sudanese. But, you know, the, the connection between the two, especially for the first generation, second generation young people that are born and raised here, uh, there are a lot of concern. And maybe we, we might have, you know, uh, ways to support them and connect with Africa. So, yeah, I would like just to for Dr. Vicky and for Brother Seifu to get to know each other. I'm very sure there's time when we meet and uh, sit together and discuss more in person. So, these are the question you asked, Dr. Uh, Brother Seifu is big for sure. Uh, international relations, you know, international economic development and uh, national and, you know, macro and microeconomic questions. So, uh, thank you for asking, and doc thanks, Dr. Vicky, for mentioning that the engagement and connecting with the agriculture sector in general can be one of the uh, steps, you know, to, I see, I work with the rural Nebraska community here through Rural Prosperity Nebraska program. I sometimes talking to the communities here, I feel almost like it's the same story a little bit with how the rural population in Ethiopia wants to connect with the uh, universities and urban uh, opportunities. So, yeah, I think uh, I don't see other hands. Do we have other questions or someone to? Uh, yeah, I see some. Okay. Dr. Tawabed, he is a, a medical doctor uh, who, who engaged really in three, four different areas of, you know, career. And Dr. Tawabed have been one of the inspirational uh, professionals we have on this platform. Uh, now I come to you to understand really how people can engage out of their profession. So Dr. Toab, most welcome and I would be happy to hear like briefly what you do and then ask a question or comment. People need to know really what you do. Please go ahead. Okay. Mm, thank you, uh, Kadu and Dr. Becky. 
uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm a young physician and a business manager from Ethiopia. Yeah, currently I'm involving in uh, a small local nonprofit, uh, working on uh, especially on the health. And in addition, we also work on education, uh, health-related agriculture and climate change. Uh, and uh, when we go to the health sector, we uh, focus on the health professional. Is a young health professional. Uh, yeah, in Ethiopia, there is a gap in both on the patient side and also in the health professional side. Uh, patients are seeking for health professionals while health professionals are looking for job uh, because uh, our public hospitals and health centers uh, are not hiring uh, health professionals and in the meanwhile they, are, uh, they have a lot of patients uh, seeking for health professionals. So our organization, our little local organization is working uh, just to fill this gap uh, through uh, promoting voluntary services in the hospitals. Just to recruit health professionals in order to assign them to public health centers, health providers, uh, to work as a full responsible health professional in this public uh, health centers. Uh, in the meanwhile, they will serve the society while uh, they develop their uh, skills and we also just uh, work to create job opportunities for these health professionals and in addition we also engage uh, in other community services uh, that uh, just uh, have a goal to improve uh, the health system and uh, the public health as a whole uh, in addition, this is my part-time job. Of course, uh, I also am involved in uh, just I'm a general manager of African Hope Share Company that involved in uh, agro processing uh, in southern part of Ethiopia. Uh, so, just let me go to the my question. Uh, yeah, just uh, had some uh, connection interruption, but. I think I, I got uh, just uh, the major point of your experience sharing. Uh, yeah, you are teaching our teachers. Uh, as you hear, uh, there are a lot of Ethiopians who are attending uh, studies in different parts of uh, Europe and USA. So uh, I really want to ask you that if you ha do you have any interest to just collaborate with uh, this Ethiopian diasporas, especially on the agricultural field, uh, in order to assist them to do uh, something, something that change uh, our agricultural problem. Yeah, as uh, the previous uh, food rise, there are yeah, like, an, we have an amazing land which can rise any types of crop. We have a variety of climate and a variety of soil types. Of course, uh, I'm not an expert in the agriculture, uh, but we have a lot of problem in agricultural production. We're just, uh, our society is uh, just Asian. Uh, so I wonder if you have any interest to involve with like diasporas like Fkadu and other peoples who are involving in agricultural field in order to develop projects that can be implemented uh, in African countries in order to improve their uh, agricultural involvement or agricultural system and agricultural practices in order to improve the nutrition of our country. As a health professional, I always worry about uh, the nutritional status of our population, which is uh, the main uh, risk for almost many diseases. Uh, so uh, nutrition is very important uh, for the fulfillment of the health of an individual. 
we have a very big gap on this issue. So uh, beside teaching our teachers, uh, do you have any interest to involve with them to just uh, to, to develop problem solving projects and just guide us to implement these projects in our country and in other African countries too? Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Dr. Veke. I know you're heading out, so just answer this question and then we'll let you go. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks for the question. Um, I guess, so the, the short answer to the question is interest, absolutely. Expertise, <laughs> probably, I, I probably don't have the expertise. Um, and I think when when we talk about some of those things, one, just to clarify, um, I'm not an agricultural expert. While I taught um, agriculture in the high school classroom for five years, um, our, our teachers, so m myself included in that training, um, it's a really broad base of knowledge in agriculture, not a, a deep base. Um, I think in terms of potential to, to contribute to collaborations, I am a developing expert in, in education. Um, and when I talk about my interest in, in teacher mobility and in how people work and workforce development, um, really that is, is an opportunity for systemic solutions. And so when I think about education and its role in food sustainability, its role in science literacy, its role in these, in these bigger issues across societies, I think there probably are opportunities to, to collaborate. Um, I don't know quite what those opportunities are. And I will also put out just in terms of in terms of immediate collaboration, um, my project schedule is such that I don't know that I would have a ton of a lot of capacity to contribute um, in the in the near term. But the the questions today are are certainly reminding me I have I have a lot to learn and a lot to dig into, and I'm definitely excited to to learn and dig in on some of the questions that have been asked. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's been really a very good opportunity, a very good discussion. So I really thank you very much. And uh, yeah, like adds to the question Dr. Toab asked, I mean, as an answer, you know, what we just started together, this, this discussion by itself can make big difference. We keep working on this. Me and you now, we are in the same department, so we'll keep exploring opportunities and I'm very sure uh, I've seen from my experience, once people know each other, you know, become friends, the chances are a lot. So uh, this, what you do, for example, just the courses you teach, I know you teach uh, teaching methods course, you know, like the higher education teaching method core by itself can also be an area to engage, you know, the chances are there. So it's just about time and also, you know, opportunities. So I would like to thank you a lot, just an update about uh, like this uh, uh, platform today, about 200 people followed. Now, since we started, so this is one of the most engaging uh, sessions. So I really thank you, Dr. Veki. As I said earlier, the session has been recorded. So there is an opportunity for fellow Ethiopians or Africans or the diaspora community here who would like to uh, listen to what we've been discussing so they have a chance to get the recorded audio and video. So thank you very much. Any final words before you leave? And uh, uh, I thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you everyone for, for the questions and for the opportunity to engage. Um, like I said, I have I, I appreciate the opportunity to learn and to have questions that I'm gonna have to dig in on well after the session has concluded. So thank you so much for the opportunity to join you today. Yeah, thank you very much. So in a few minutes, we are going to switch the language to our Amhari. <laughs> So you gave us, you know, it's also for some Ethiopian students, uh, young people who would like to study in the U.S. This can be an opportunity for them to see if they understand all what you said. This would be what they would face it's about language. You know, so there are different ways we help the young people even this discussion, listening to this audio. They can see if they can understand. Like with all the, mine, I speak English in Amharic, you know, it's like I have my own accent and the like. But you would give them really like the first and uh, native speaker uh, tone of 
like English language in the United States. That's also unintended or what we didn't think about, but uh, young people can benefit from it. So thank you so much. I wish you very nice. We can pass warm greetings and apologies to your family. And uh, yeah, have a nice time. You are free to leave whenever you, you like. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. But I'm Arif, uh, yeah, Dr. Vicky was like uh, leaving because uh, her one of her children is going to be awake now. He was having a nap. So please did really join us during when the child was sleeping. So, but I'm now saying that I'm going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a Yezi we yet and do alama in a barrow in the no, the swan can nantagama stog no, Larry Tawakan, Nagat and Agodia, the Tammy Masrat Gugut and Dalatslai, or Teleka Swan, the Fibalabet, one in Chambers Letawa Waki, Nasum, Yabatelebalabet, or the Moka, or the Zak or the Elagari Matazon, or Na, Abro Masrati Faligal, Nan, the Ainet, the Nishmi Maslugan, Ibuzu Abro Masrat Mangadu Chinmika for Sararo Chinim, and the Telamaduno. Doctor Kwabe Konjuni Arako, Abrend Nesara, Matayaka, the name Yeta Yakuatia Lot, Suno, Eluchachum, Dana Saj, Yakuch, but Abam Saginello. But this amendment and has a number of basic to pay with a sermon at Batina Mabro, media light at Julian Chilal, when the Machin Fakadu Fatana, yes, Topia Kame Jamaru of it, Venezinera no soon, your high school tomorrow, Kudna Yarbam University, I Rulix, no eta eta Marakauna. Nita Marco but high school in the Sufoto in Letafna Bara. Now, he was one of the best. Conjo Tet Kamatu, the high school Katamarut, Anduno, Arsirobe did a high school Malano, Nafkadu Fatana, and Engadisumun Yayo Duro, as the high school Segava, and Yam Marek first photo at Choyona Botala in Barana, Conjo Tetamatu, Yenya University, Yako Lenya High School, Mitama Maribacho Tamaric Tabulo photo at Chotala to Fosai, Nenyan Sitawot in the model Katana Bara. Now, internet aginche, you know, social media si noreng. Ad kader ba kader ko acho sa wocho standu kadu fatana na na. Le damanu shvara mi bal doctor alazi America ger dal sali dal ka acho dechasa sarje haile en mogas kafle thaga lavera doctor masfin zi thani allo adama allo buzuli jo charlo but am like inspire si arar guni na baru thana bandem matcham fakadu. Yes, to pay award Avalno, vice Antenno, Sabine and Barona, the Regi Hilega Hono, let to my hydraulics in Etamarut, Arbamich University, Tamarachu, Tauquacho, Lachu. Now, when the Machin Facadu, Angatulai, a cancer and the Brabet, Mam the Brabet, Lezak Mena, which aid on Dita and Ditakam, Buzudiga Father Gaulic, and Motamario, which got the new two. Takamotamaliso, survive Maragan Chalem, Mimas Lenial, chemotherapy. Italayu, Donuchin, Yadrege, Alter Fangidi, Amlak and Absunimar, Malet Wadalo, Sun and the Tawas Feligalo, Lenya de Rego de Gaf, Buzuslone, Bazich Basic of Piatal Platform, the Nishba Metamas Los, Buzus await at Akaban, Bonnet and Ek and Gidiamlak and Kamamas again at Bacho, Buzum Kniatu Chustandu, Hindem Sara and Sara, Bertats Lesatain, the Selede Gafainongidi, Amlak de Mobatalayam and Ged. Kaulu balai demo, basa wujud bakul selam yang gizen, berdemi fakaru, andu nabbara, sun mis bermarga, bawahnya terpala fau, and ista semua gizen jemuro, I think selain tu nai tak kaburu ini nabbara na, terus mesu stal nabbara kum, na betam terlekuk anda mati cahlo, esi topia itu sebab hendak yang anda tahu ku, ebor dawal esi topia structureu institutionu, dasar kuam, sabat ebor dawal asalut, ni na anda main demas rajonan malam na. Na, nanya ebor dah balak na cok confidence ya satu, nene nasu bar tu bayar lu nene nasu bayar firmul nene nasu, tapi tak cint bayar kau mu, dah ini aljam beram nene bara. Na, gede zi darsana, nene nasu makniat, na he one demi, video untuk fakadu, ni ada mula jo cun bet sabun, na men antik an nene nasu biji ant program host tara garlo, bet sabu ya lu bete nene dah, bete bete ayek, bazza bete mau terapi kemana? Zug and Zabachon and the Jaraso Carlo, Cavit Savalfo, fundraising at the Seda Nalena, Ahun Menalbat, Gedila Lijo Chubaki, Territ Sayas Kamet Edolion Chilal, 
ሪሊ ስለ ቤተሰቡ ዝርዝር በደም ባላውቅም እሱን መረጃ ለማግኘት ሞክራለሁ እና ይሄን እንድታውቁ ነው እና ይሄ ስራ ይሄ የኢትዮጵያ ስራ ለዚህ አይነት ወንድሞች እህቶችን ፈጥረዋል ቤተሰብ ሆነን አልከ ብዙ ሰዎች ጋር እና እንግዲህ እግዚአብሔር መስገን ያ መወለድ ማለፍ ይኖ መቸገር ያለ ነው ሁሉ ሙስት ሁሉ የሚሆነ ስለ በምክንያት ስለሆነ በደስታችን ጊዜ ብቻ ሳይሆን ስንቸገርን በጣም በመን ምድራዊ የሆነ ፈተና በሚደርስብንም ሰዓት ሁሌ ደሞ አምላካችንን ማመስገን እርስ በርስ ደሞ በርቱ መባባል ይግድ አለብንና በተለይ በተለይ ታውቃላችሁ አገራችን በተለይ አይ አይነት ፈተና ውስጥ ነው ያለችው ማአት አይነት ፔን ህዝባችን ላይም ስላለ በዚህ አጋጣሚ እንግዲህ በህይወታቸውን የሚያጡ ወንድሞች እህቶችን አምላክ ነፍሳቸው በሰላም ያሳርፍልን እንላለን ወዳጅ ዘመዶቻቸውን ያዝናናልን የፈቃዱ ፈጠነን ቤተሰብም እንደዛው ወንድሞቹ እህቶቹ ልጆቹ ባለቤቱን ሁሉንም እንደበር ያዝናናልን የሚለው መልእክት ማስተላለፍ ፈልጋለሁ እንግዲህ ሌላው ለዛሬ ካይንድ ኦፍ ሚኖረኝ ወይይት ቀደም እንዳልኳችሁ ወንድሜ ሰይፉ እዚ ያለ በጣም ብዙ ስራ እየሰራ ነው ያለ ነው እግዚአብሔር መስገን ሆነታ መስግኑልኝ ምንም እንኳን ከዚህ ፊት አቺቭ ባናደርግ እኔን ብሎ ቢትሰቡን ቱቶ ኢኖ ካሊፎርኒያ ነብራስካ ኦማሃ አድሮ ዛሬ ሊንከን አሁን እዚህ ቤት እየሰማን ነው ያለውና እኔ አሁን እንዴ አይነት ይሄንን ያርቀት ሜዱ ኢትዮጵያውያንን ሳይ ነው ራስ የምታይቀው እኔ ምን አድርግ ያለው ነው ማለት ነው እና ከ ወንድማችን ሰይፉ ኦነት ስለኦነት ነው ማለት ስታሁን ያደረከው ብዙ ወጣቶችን በተለያየ መንገድ ይያገስክ እንደነበርክ እናውቃለን የሰራሃቾት ትምርት ቤቶች ከዘጠኝ አካባቢ ትምርት ቤቶች ከ120 በላይ ኢትዮጵያውያን ወጣቶችን አግዘ ለቁም ነገር ማብቃት የመጠጥ ውሃ ፕሮጀክቶች ለገጠሩ ማህበረሰብ መትከለ እንደገና ደሞ ዛሬ ይሄን ሁሉ ኪሎ ሜትር አቋርጠ መጣ ዚያድረ አብረን እንሰራቸው ነገሮች ፊገራውት ለማረክ ስለመጣ ስለኦነት ስለኦነት ዘብር ስጥልኝ በዚህ በዚህ በአድማጮች የፊት ላመሰገነ ወዳለሁ ይሄ ታሪካዊ ውይይት ነው የዛሬ ውይይት ሴሽን 38 ማለት ነው 38ኛው ታሪካዊ ቀን ነው ምክንያቱም እዚህ አሜሪካ ሀገር እንግዲህ አንድ ተቋም እንደመሰረት ይሄ ምን እንሰራው ስራ መሰረት እንዲኖረው እዚህ ሀገር ህጋዊ ሆኖ እንዲመዘገብ እና በተለይዚህ ዲያስፖራው ኮሚኒቲ ውስጥ ተወልዶ የሚያዱ ኢትዮጵያውያንና አፍሪካውያን ወጣቶችን ተጠቅመን እዚህ ያለውንም አገር ቤት ያለውንም የበደም በመናግዝበት ነገሮች ይያመቻቸን ያለ ነው ሌሎቻችሁም እንድትረዱ ስቁሎ ያዝ ለቀቅም እናደርገው ነገር ሳይሆን ሀገራችን እንደ ሀገር አፍሪካ እንደ አፍሪካ ትልልቅ ትልልቅ ሰዎች አሏት ጎበዝ ሰዎች አሏት ግን ጎበዝ ተቋማት ጠንከር ያሉ ስርዓቶች መገንባት መለማመድ አለብን ነው እና ለምን ሰዎች በሚቀያየሩ ሰዓት የተለያየ መሪ በሚመጣ ሰዓት የተለያየ ነገር እየተደረገ ግራ መጋባታችን መቆም አለበት እና ሳይንቲፊክ የሆኑ አሰራሮችን በተለይ ተቋም መገንባት ለምምድ ማድረግ የኢትዮጵያ አንዱ የኛ ሚሽን እሱ ነው። በግለሰብ ደረጃ ከኪስ ያውጥቼ የሆነ ሰው ላግዝ ይችላል ለወር እና እና ግን እንደዛ አይነ ነገር አይዘልቅ። ተቋም ለትውልድ ሊተላለፍ የሚችል ነገር መጀመር መትከል ዛሬ ያንን ነው ወንድሜ ከሰይፉ ጋር ማደርገው እና ሌሎች እዚ ሊንክ ከነብራስካ ያሉ አሉ። ኦሬዲ አንድ ስብሰባ አድርገናል ዝርዝሩን ቀስ በቀስ እንመጣበታለን። ይሄንን ግን ሁላችሁ እንድትሰሙና የሰራን እንደሆነ እንድታውቁልኝ በተለይ በተለይ ወንድሜን ሳይፉን ደሞ እንድታመሰግኑልኝ ይፈልጋለሁ ነው ማለት በደምጽ ሁላችን ማመስገን ቀላል ባይሆንም ታላችን የልብ ምልክት አድርገ ሁላችንም አንዴ ቴንክ ዩ ወንድላው ደስ ይለኛ የኔና የዶክተር ተዋበ ይታየኛ ሌሎቻችሁ ሁሉ እንድታበሩ ፈልጋለሁ ይሄ ለሳይፉ የተለየ እንት ከመስጠት አቋያ አይደለም ሪከርድ የተደረገ ነው ታሪካዊ ሴሽን ነው ላይኛ እና በተለይ በተለይ እሱ እንዲካም ሪኮግናይዝ ካማረገ ቋያ እስቲ ስንት ሰው ነው ለምሳሌ ከአንድን ወጣት ለማገዝ ወይም የሆነ ሐሳብን ለመደገፍ ብቻ ሲባል ከቤቱ ተነስተው ከአዲስ አበባ ተነስተው አውሮፕላን ጥቂት ገስተው ሐረር ሄዶ እዛ አድሮ አብሮ ተገናኝቶ ቢወያይ ስንት ኢትዮጵያዊ ነው ያለው ቢለውን አስቡበት ይሄ ለኔ ነው አይደለም አለላችሁ ግን እንደዛም ይሰራል ይሰሩቆ አሉ አብሮ ሊገናኙ ኢትዮጵያውያን አሉ አውቃለሁ ግን ለምሳሌ ያን ያህል ደሞ ተጠቅመናል ሙሉ ኤግዞስቲቭ እንተናጭ ኦፖርቹኒቲ ተጠቅመናል በየአላምንምና በተለይ ወንድሜ ሰይፉ ጋር ያረገው በእውነት በጣም እሱን ጥማት ረግፈልጋለሁ ወንድም ዮናስ መገጠል ይችላል 
ከቀጥላለሁ ካፊቸዋለሁ ያንተ ወንድሜ ዮናስ እንዴት ናችሁ ይሰማል ፍቂ ሰላም ወንድሜ አው ይሰማል እንዴ እንደረራ ነው ወይ ሰላም ነኝ እግዚአብሔር መስገን አይ ለማመስገን ነበር ወንድም ሰይፉ እና ይቅርታ ያ ያ ደስ ይለኛል እኮ አው እንደዛ ፈልጌ ነው እኔም እና መሰግነው ቴንክ ዩ እሺ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ዩቲዩባችሁ ላይ አይቼ ነበር ይሄ አሁን አናውንስ የምታደርጉን በጣም ደስ ብሎኛል ወንድም ሰይፉ የሚያረጋውም ነገር በጣም ደስ የሚል ነገር ነው በጣም አፕሪሽየት አረጋለሁ ያው እኔ አሁን አራተኛ ሳምንት ሆኖኛል ቀድም ቤክ እንዳለች እንዳለች ልጆች አሉ ምን አሉ ግን በቀ ፕራዮሪታይዝ ስለማድረግኝ ነው በጣም ኢንተረስትድ ስለሆንኩኝ በመታረጉት ነገር ደስ ብሎኝ ነው መከታተለው አመሰግናለሁ እሺ ወንድሜ ዮናስ እኔም በጣም አመሰግናለሁ አንተም ቅርብ ጊዜ ለጆይን ያረከን ከናሽቪል ተነሰ እዚህ አሜሪካ ሀገርና ቶሎ ብለ እኔም ማገዝ ፈልጋለሁ ብለ በፍጥነት ወደ ስራ የገባሁን እኔም ማስተዋውሳለሁ በተለይ አዲስ አበባ ላይ ያሉ ወጣቶች ከኢሞሽናል ኢንተለጀንስ እንጠና ጋር ያለህን ይዘ ወጠ ኦሬዲ ኢንጌጅ ማድረግ ጀምራሃልና እነኚሁ ትንንሽ የሚመስሉ ኢፈርቶች ናቸው አንድነት ሰብሰብ ስናረጋቸው ለሀገራችን ወጣቶች ቫልዩ አድ የሚያደርጉትና አብርሃን ስለሆንክ ወነት ከልቤ አመሰግናለሁ የልጆችን የቤት ሰበን ጊዜ ይረፍት ከነህን አርገ ሁሌ ስለምትሰማን ዣቪየር ስትርሊኝ እንግዲህ የተሻለ ነገር አርገን ባፋችንን ቦልተን you know what the ligochachin wendemoch mimarubeten negerochi abren masrat nikatlalen na antem abro 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 net yikatel za nashville tenese derejena abel mibalu ulet betam yelebo dajoch alluy dereje andi ye consulting firm allo abel demo betam bizu ligochin bekatta yaggeze neberna ከነሱም ጋር ገናኛለሁ ግዜ ስታገኙ ከተዋወቃችሁ ተዋወቃችሁ ካላውካችሁ እንድታገኛችሁ እነሱን በዚህ አጋጣሚ ለነገር ፈልጋለሁና ቴንክ ዩ አንድም ዮናስ ሌላ ሰው ካለ ፕሊስ አንግሪ እንደፈቀድና በነገራችን ላይ እህት ሶስ እና ልጅ የዋሽንግተን ዲሲ እንደገና ትዝታ ከኢንዲያና ሷም ከኛ ጋር ለተሰራ ቃል ተገባብተናል እና ብዙ ናቸው በጣም ብዙ ኢትዮጵያውያን ያሉ ታንክስ ቱ ዚስ ፕላትፎርም የኢትዮጵያ ጠንከር ያለ የሁሉ 32000 ፎሎዎር ፎሎዎር አከባቢ መታየት ሊንክድኢን ላይ ዝም ብሎ አይደለም ሰዎች ፎሎ የሚያደርጉት በጣም በረከት አይተናል ብዙ ፖቴንሻል ፕሮሚሲንግ ነገሮች አይተናል ግን አንድ አንዴ ደግሞ በጣም ብዙ ሀብት ይኖርህና ልክ ኢትዮጵያ 120 ቢሊዮን እንዳለን ማለት ነው። 120 ቢሊዮን ህዝብ ኖሮን ግን 5 ቢሊዮን ህዝብ ያለው ሰው ረዳታ ሲሰጠን ሁሌ ያንገበገበኛል እና እኛ ነበር ለነሱ መደገፍ ያለብን ማለት ነው። እና ግን እቅ ሰብሰብ ማለት ግድ ያስፈልጋል ታክቲካል መሆን ያስፈልገናል እኛ ኢትዮጵያውያን በጣም ከችግሮቻችን በላይ ከፍ ብለን የስሜት ብልነታችንን እንትናርገን you know እጅግ በጣም ቢያስቀይ ምንም እንኳን አንድ ወንድም እስቲ ወንድም ነው እና አንድ ጣት ተበላሽ ተብሎ ዝም ብሎ የዚህ ተወሰነ ሰውነታችን ክፍል ቆርጠን እንደማናወጣ ሁሉ ታዘር መዳኒት ነው ምናረጋው አንዱ አንዱ ነው የሚያግዘውና በዛ ልክ አብሮነታችን ይከተላል ብዙ ወንድሞችን ያያየው ነው ወንድም ደንኑ ይታየኛል ከዲዳ ሃይስኩል ቀደም ስለ ፈቃዱ ፈተነ ስናገር እርግጠኛ ነኝ ሰምታኛል ሌሎቻችሁም እንግዲህ በጣም ብዙ የልቦዳጆች አላችሁ እዚህ ቤት ውስጥ ያለው ማለት ከደሴ አሌክስ አለ ከእስራኤል ሀገር ሙልጌታ የመቅደላ አምባ ዩኒቨርሲቲ ወንድሜ ዘማጅ ከሚዛን ስንት ቆንጆ ነገር ሰርቷል ከደቡብ ምዕራብ ኢትዮጵያ ላይ አሁን እየመጣ ያለ ሲስተር ሲስተርስ ቼይን ኤሚል ቆንጆ የበጎ አድራጎት ስራ እንዲያስመዘገብ ይያበረታታውት ነው ያለውት ኦሬዲ አይች ያለው ፋሽኑን ምን ያህል ማህበረሰቡ ለማገዝ እንደሚጓጓ እንዲ አይነት ትንንሽ ብልጭ ብልጭ የሚሉ መብራቶችን ስናይ ነውኛ ደሞ የበለጠ ማጠናከር ያለብን መብራታቸውን እንዲቀጥሉ ሰፍቶ ለብዙ ሰው እንዲደርሱና እንግዲህ ሌሎቻችሁም ስማችሁን ያልጠራሁት በጣም ብዙ ሰዎች አላችሁ እዚህ ፕላትፎርም ላይ ዛሬ አጥራ አርጌ የምዘጋበት ምክንያት ሌላ ያስኩት አጀንዳ ስላለይ ነውና ከመስጋቴ በፊት ትሬኒንግ ኦፍ ትሬነርስ ላይ ያላችሁት በተለይ ከስትራቴጂክ ፕላን አጻጻፍ ጋር የተያያዘ ሂንት የሚሆን ዶክመንት ልክላችኋለሁ ቪዲዮ ልክላችኋለሁ እሱን ተጠቅማችሁ ባካችሁ ስሩ 270 አካባቢ ሰው ይዘን የጀመርኩት አሁን ወደ 60 ዝቅ ብለዋል እንግዲህ አመት ለአንድ አመት ስንጠና ነው የት እንደሚደርሱ ራሱ ለዛ ስንት ግሩፕ ላይ ሪሰርች እየሰራ ነው በነገራችን ላይ ፕራክቲካ ሪሰርች ነው እየሰራው ያለው ምን ያህል ሰዎች ኮሚቴ ያረጋሉ ፈልገው የገቡት ሚሽላ የሚለውን 
ትሬኒንግ ኦፍ ትሬነርስ ላይ ያየውን ያለው 270 ወጣት ነው እየጀመርኩት ከተለያየ የኢትዮጵያ ክፍሎች ሁሉም ኢሜል ቦልን ተናርገው በጣም ዊሊንግነስ አሳይተዋል ወደ 8 ጥያቄዎች ሞልተው ተመዝግበዋል አሁን ቻሌንጅ ውስጥ መተግበር ውስጥ ነው ያለው ፍላጎቱን ወደ ተግባር እየቀየረ 270 ውስጥ 800 አመቱን ይጨርሳል ስልጣናው አንድ አመት ይቆያል ስንቶቹ ናቸው መጨረሻ ላይ ሚደርሱት የሚለው አብረን እንቆጥራለን ዛሬ 38ኛው ሳምንት ላይ ማስተዋሻ ያዙልኝ እና ይሄ ፕራክቲካል እንድንሆን ያደርገናል ዎርክፎርሳችንን ስናስብ ከህዝቡም ከወጣቱ ምንጠብቀውን ከባለሙያችንን ምንጠብቀውን በተለይ ኦንላይን ለሚሰሩ ስራዎች ታንጂብል የሆነ ኤክስፒሪየንስ ለማምጣት ሙከራ ያደረኩ ነው ያለው ይሄ ደግሞ በተለይ እየተማርኩት ካሉት ፒኤችዲ ፕሮግራም ጋር በጣም ነው የሚገናኝ የሪሰርች ኤሪያ ይሄ ፕሮፌሽናል ዴቨሎፕመንት ነው እነኛ ጫጭር ኮርሶችን ይመለከታል እና ሌሎቻቸውም እንድታስተውሉ ብዬ ነው kind of notice ነው ይላኩት እሱን በተመለከተ እንግዲህ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ የቀረ ነገር አለ ምትሉ ካላችሁ ይሄንን ሐሳብ ነበርኝ እንደ አይነት ጥያቄ ነበርኝ ምትሉ ካላችሁ ባካችሁ ተሎ ጠይቁ በሁለት ደቂቃ 3 ደቂቃ ጊዜ üst ካልሆነ ሴሽኑን እዚህ ጋር ጨርስና ከዛ ከወንድም በሴፉ ጋር ፕራክቲካል የሆኑ ውይይቶች ወደምን ወያይበት ሄዳለሁ ማለት ነው ዛሬ በልጆቼም ነገር ያለው ቤትም አልደውልም ሙሉ ሰዓታችንን እስከ ነገ በዚህ ሰዓት ድረስ የሲትዮጵያ ነው የሆነው ውይይታችን ወንድም ዘማች መቀጠል ይችላል ሌላም ሐሳብ አስተያየት ያቀ ያላችሁ ፈጥናችሁ ጠይቆኝ ለዘጋ ስለሆነ ሴሽኑን ፈጣን ደበሉ ጃችሁን ማውጣት ይችላልላችሁ እሺ አመሰግናለሁ ይሰማል ይሰማል ወንድም እንዴ እንደ ደላ ነው ይሄ ካሉ በፊት በጣም ሰላም ለና አንተ ይሁን እንዴት ቆያችሁ ሁላችሁንም ሰላም ናችሁ ወይ ብያችሁ አለው እኔ ምን አልባት ባጭዴቃ ውስጥ እንግዲህ ወንድም ሴፉንም ቅድም ብለሃል ኔ ላደረጋቸው ነገሮች ሁሉ ላመሰግነው ወዳለሁ እንደዚሁም ደግሞ አንም ባለፈው እዚ እንትላይ በጽሁፍም የተገለጸው ነገር ለመጻፍ ሞክር ያለው እጅግ በጣም ነው የማመሰግናችሁ የኢትዮጵያ ልጆች ውድ እንዴት እየይ ካላት ልገልጽ የማልችለው ደረጃ ነው የኔ ኮሚኒቲ ምን አልባት የገለጹትን ቪዲዮዎች ምን አልባት አቅሙ ሞባይል ብቻለው ልክ ወደ ላይ አፕሎድ ላደርክ ሞክር ያለው በተለይ በካርተርኩት በላይ 50 ተማሪ እናስተምራለን ዘንድሮ ደብተር ገዛላችሁ አለው በየ በገባው ቃል መሰረት ኮሚኒቲ ውስጥም ሳላፈር በተለይ በተለይ የኛን ሰዎች በጣም ትንሽ ነገር ነው በቃቸውና ዋሽ እንደዚህ ያደረገኝ ይሉኝ ነበር ብቻና እኔ እግዚአብሔር አለ ወንድሞች ይቶች አሉ የት ቦታ አንድ ምናገር ለኔ እስከዚህ ለመድረስ እትልቅ ዋጋ የምከፍሉ ወንድሞች አሉኝ እኔ እራዳቸው አሉ በቃ ዘንድሮ ትምርት አጣቋርኩም ትምርት የማቋረጥ እንትን ያሉት ልጆች ናቸውና የመዝገብናቸው እግዚአብሔር የተመሰገነ ይሁን በናን ናንተ አቅም እንደነ ወንድም ዮናስ አሌክሳንደር ሌሎቻችሁም ባደረጋ ድጋፍ እኔ ከበፊት 20 ተማሪ ነበር እንትን ያደረኩትና ጎደ ለብኝ ላልኩት እኔ ይሄን ይችላል ወኔ አምስት ይችላል ወኔ አሌክሳንደር እነ ዶክተር አበበ ምናምን ብቻ ሰዎችን በስምስማቸው ያው ላደረኩት ነገር ነው የምጠራውና ሁላችሁም እንደ ማለት ይቻላልና የኔን ሐሳብ ዘማች ማን ነው ብሎ ከማሰብ አንድ አንድ ጊዜ ኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ በሰው ስም በሰንት የሚደረገውን ማጅበርበርና ማታለልን እንትን ሳትሉ መልክታችን ያደርስልናል ብላችሁ የሰጣችሁትን አድራ በታማኝነት ለማድረስ ይያለው ካቀርኩትም በላይ ወደ 54 ተማሪ 53 ብዬ የጻፍኩት የእንትን የእንትን ማድረገ ነው ነበርና ምንድነው የቁጥር ስተት ነበር የሪፖርት ዋላ ዛ ያገኘሁት 54 ተማሪዎችን ነው ዘንድሮ ትምርት ቤት በእናንተ ጉልበትና በኤስ ኢትዮጵያ ጉልበት እግዚአብሔር ረድቶን ዘንድሮ ትምርት ቤት የሚቻለው እንግዲህ ትምርት ቤት ሲሄዱ የሚገርማቸው ነገር ደግሞ ከተለያዩ ሰዎችን ማለት የወረዳው ሴቶችና ህጻናት ሐላፊዎች የትምርት የማብራው ዘርፍ ሐላፊዎችን አሩትን ልጆች የሚማሩበትን ትምርት ቤትና ቀጥታ ኮነክት እንዲያደርጉ ስም ዝርዝራቸውንና ስራቸውን ሰጥተን እነሱም አድራ ብለው ይሄ ወንድማችን እንደዚህ ያድርጎ ሶሻል ሚዲያ በተለይ የፖለቲካ አመራሮች ምናምን ነገር ጥሩ አድርጎ መጥፎ ብቻ ይሰደዱበታል ግን ይሄ ሰው ጥሩ አድርጎልናል ብሎ በተሻለ መንገድ እንዲያዝና እንዲከታተሉትም ያደረኩበት አግባብ which is እንደ ጥሩ ነገር በቃ ሶሻል ኢትዮጵያውያን የትም ቦታ ብኖሩ ለልጆቻቸው ለወንድሞቻቸው ማንነታቸውን ባያውቁ እንኳን ኢትዮጵያውያንና ወንድሞቻቸው መሆናቸው አስቦ መልካም ነገር ያደርጋሉ የሚለውን ነገር እንዲያስቡልን አድርጋቸዋል አላሳፈራችሁኝም 
እግዚአብሔር አምላክ ይስጥልኝ ሊላችሁ ነው በጣም ነው ማመሰግነው እለዚህ ነው እንግዲህ ቀደም ያልኮ ሲስተርስ ቼን ቱ ሀልፕ ሲስተርስ ኮሚኒቲ ፕሮጀክት የምለው ነው ለእግዚአብሔር በእግዚአብሔር ስሙን ትድምለው ወንድሜ እንካረጂ ያደረገ ነው እኔም አሁን ስሙኑን ስሙንም እንትኑንም በአጠቃላይ የተወሰነ ኢንክሉሲቭ እንዲሆን ለማድረግ እየተጣጣርኩ ነው እግዚአብሔር እየረዳኝ ነው ውጤታማ የሆንኩ እየርኩ ነውና ይሄ ሁሉ የናንተ ድጋፍ ነው የምለውን ለማለት ነው እጅግ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ወንድሜ ዘማች እንደው አንድ አስተያየት ብቻ ሲስተርስ ኤንድ ብራዘርስ ልታረጋግጥ ብትችል የበለጠ የተሟላ ይሆናልና እሷን ብቻ እንደው እንደ አስተያየት ያዝልኝ እናልባት የሚሆን ከሆነ ከናንተ አላማጋ መሄድ ከሆነ ሲስተርስ ቼን የሚለውን ሲስተርስ ኤንድ ብራዘርስ ቼን ብትለው የተሻለ ይሆናል የሚል ሐሳብ አለኝ በተረፈ የምታደርገው ነገር በተለይ በተለይ አብዛኛውን ድምጻቸውን በቀላሉ ማንሰማውን ኢትዮጵያውያንን ድምጻቸው እንዲሰማ ድምጽ ስለሆንክ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ጉዳዩ የተሰጠው ደብተር ሳይሆን ልባቸው ውስጥ የተሰማው ስሜት ነው እሺ ለኔና ባንተ ማል የተፈጠረው እንዲችላለን የሚለው ሐሳብ ነው እና ወንድሞች እህቶች ዛሬም አሉ ነገሮች ከባድ በሚመስሉ ሰዓትም ዛሬም ሰው አለ ይሄ ንፋስ ያልፋል ብለው እንዲያስቡ እንዲሆን በጣም ስላረካ አመሰግናለሁ ወንድሜ ሰይፉ ቀጥለና ይቅርታው እንደም ዮናስን ተሳይጨርስ መሰለኝ እንትን ያረኩት ወንድሜ ዮናስ በልሰ ማውጣት ይችላል ይቅርታ ከናልባት አቋርጨህ ከሆነ ወንድም ሰይፉ ቀጥለና ሌላ መናገር ምትፈልጉ አምስት ደቂቃ ስድስት ደቂቃ ድረስ መቆየት እንችላለን እና ፕሊስ ለመጠየቅ ምትፈልጉ ጠይቁ ናልባት አቋርጫችሁ ከሆነ ብዬ እሺ ፍቃዱ በጣም አመሰግናለሁኝ እንደሰነ በረቹ ወገኖቼ ወንድሞቼ እህቶቼ እኔ ኢትዮጵያውያንን ሁሉ በጣም ወዳለሁኝ ኢትዮ ምስራቅ ምራብ ሰሜን ደቡብ ሁሉን ማhall ሀገር ያለውን ወገኔ ወንድሜ እህቴ ብዬ ነው የማየውና እዚህ ውስጥ ያላችሁትም በጣም ወዳችኋለሁኝ እና ይሄ ትልቅ እድል ነው ወንድሜ ፍቃዱ የጀመረው ፕሮጀክት ለረጅም ጊዜ ይሄ ይመስለኛል እናት በትንሹም ቢሆን ብናግዘው ወይም ባግዘው ብዬ ነው ከሱ ጋር መቆም የፈለኩትና ባገኘ ነው እድል እግዚአብሔር በሰጠን እድሜ ህዝባችንን አገልግለን ብናልፍ ትንሽም ነገር ኮንትሪቢዩት አድርገን ብናልፍ በጣም ጥሩ ነው ዩኖ እና ይሄንን ኢንከሬጅ ላደርጋችሁ ፈልጋለሁኝ እዚህ ውስጥ ያላችሁት ሁሉ በተለይም ደግሞ በውጭ የምትኖሩ ወገኖቼ በአሜሪካ በተለይ የምትኖሩ ከአሜሪካና ካናዳ ኦፖርቹኒቲ በጣም ብዙ ነው ህዝባችንን ለማገልገል ሌላው ቀርቶ አንድ ተማሪ አንድ የጎረቤት ልጅ ወስደን ብናስተምርስ ከመጨረሻው ድረስ በቃ አንድ ቤት ሰብ ሙሉ ረዳን ማለት ነው እና አንድ ጊዜ አዋሳ የዛሬ 10 አመት ይሁን እንደዚህ ሄጀ ነበርና አንድ ያነበብኩት ነገር ውስጥ ይቀር ያም ምንድነው አንድ ወንድ ልጅ ስታስተምር ሙሉን ቤተሰብ ነው የምትረዳው ግን አንዲት ልጅ አገር ስታስተምር ኮሚኒቲውን በሙሉ ነው የምትረዳው የሚል ጽሁፍ እኔ ፓራፍሬዝ አርገው ነው ይቅርታ ኤግዛክት ቨርቤጁ ያለኝም እና በጣም ነካኝ በጣም ሚገርም አባባል ነው ያለውና ባሰብኩት ቁጥር ምንድነው ያልኩት ለራሴ ያቺ ልጅ ተሳክቶላት ተምራ ዩኖ እስከ ዩኖ ስራ እስከምትይዝ ድረስ እንኳን ባትሄድ ቢያንስ ቢያንስ ልጆቿን እንድትማር ታደርጋለች እና ያን ያ ደግሞ ኮሚኒቲን ማርዳት ነው የሚል ነገር ውስጥ ነው የገባውትና anyway ወደ ወደ መጀመሪያው ሐሳቤ ለመለስና ባንድ ሰው ህይወት ላይ የሆነች ትንሽ ዘር ከዘራን ያ ዘር ፍሬ አፍቶ አብቦ ፍሬ አፍቶ ብዙ ነገሮችን ብዙ ለውጦችን ሊያመጣ ይችላልና በዚህ እንድንተባበር አደራላችኋለሁ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ እንደሚያ ይፈቃዱ እግዚአብሔር ይስጥልኝ ወንድም ሰይፉ በእውነት በድጋሚ አመሰግናለሁ እና እንግዲህ መልካም ዜና ይጠብቃሉ ይሄ ዛሬ የሆነው ራሱ መልካም ነው ትልቅ ነገር ነው እና ለእኔ እንደ ትልቅ ሆነት እንደ ትልቅ ክብር ተቀብየዋለሁ እና ያባቴ ድሮ የነገረኝን ምክር አረሰው እኔ አባት 
አንደኛ ክፍል የመጨረሻ ድልም አላገኘ ነገር ግን ሲነግረኝ የነበረውን ትልቅ መልእክት ግን አረሰው አንደኛ ለሀገሩ ለህزب ያለውን ፍቅር በቅንነት ለሰዎች ማገልገልን የኔ አባት ቤተሰቦቹ የቤተክርስቲያን ሰዎች ናቸው መምህር አዶ ሸናፊ በትጠይቁ አርሲ ውስጥ በኢትዮጵያ ቤተክርስቲያን ምን ያህል ስራ ሲሰራ እንደነበረ ለተረዱት ይችላልላችሁ በክርስቲና ህይወት ውስጥ ያላችሁትና ሃይማኖቱን ሀገሩን ህዝቡን እና የኔ አባት ከክርስቲና ቤተሰብ ከክርስቲያን ተወልዶ ግን ያሳደጉት ደሞ እስልምና ቤት ነው ያደገው ላቦች ያግድላቸው ነበር እና ሃጂዩ የሚላቸው ሰዎች ሰው አሉ ማረሰው እና እንዴት እንደሚወዱት ማለት ነው እና በጣም ይገርመ ነገር ብዙ ነገር ይነሪ ታርጊ ያለው ነው ካባቴና ለኛ ሀገር ታስብ የፋዘርን አይነት ሰዎች ነው ማሰቦ አብዛኞቹ ኢትዮጵያ ሰዎች እንደዚህ አይነት ንጹህ የዋ ሰዎች ናቸው እና እኔና የኔ ተማርኩ ምንለው ቀለም ይቆጠርን ሰዎች ነው አሁን ትንሽ ግራ እየተጋባ ነው የማህበረሰቡን እሴትና ይሄን አዲስን ዓለም ማገናኘት ላይ ነው ስትራገል ያረግን ያለ ነውና እዲህ እግዚአብሔር መልካም ነው ከስበከስ የነገሮች ይስተካከላሉ ትውልድ በእኛ ብቻ ያበቃም እኛ ስንሄድ ሌላ አዲስ ትውልድ ይተካል ዓለም ይከተላልና በምን ይችላል ያህል ጥሩ ነገር አድርገን ለማለፍ ምን ይችላል ሁሉ እናደርጋለን በተለይ አሜሪካ ወንድሜ ሰይፉ እንዳለው አሜሪካ እኔ በዚህ ኢትዮጵያውኛ አሜሪካን ሳስብና እዚህ ደረሽ ይቃሉ ታዩት በኋላ እጅግ እጅግ ነው የሚራራቀው ሚገርም እድል ያለው ሀገር ነው ይሄ ሀገር ሰፊ ሀገር ነው እና ጎበስ ከሆነ 10 ሰው እዚህ ሀገር ሲኖርን እነኚህን 10 ሰዎች በደም ተጠቅመን እዛ ሀገር ቤት እንደገና ኢትዮጵያ ደግሞ ምን ያህል እድል እንዳላታውቃላችሁ እና እነኚህን እንት እንድናደርግ በተለይ እኔ አሁን አሜሪካ ሀገር ስላለሁ ነው ሄድ ብላችሁ ኢትዮጵያ አሳ ዩኒቨርሲቲ እንኳን ምን ያህል ትልቅ ነገር እንዳለ ምን ያህል ትልቅ ፖቴንሻል እንዳለ በየቀኑ ዊትነስ ማድረገው ነበር አሳ ዩኒቨርሲቲ ግብርና ኮሌጅን ብቻ ብታስቡት ማለት ነው እና ማአት እድል ነው ያለው እግዚአብሔር መስገን ባጭሩ 38 ኛው ሴሽናችን እዚህ ጋር አብክቷል ፊተር ላይ ተደረገውን ሴሽን ልክላችኋለሁ ታሪካዊ ቀን ነው እንዳልኳችሁ ባካችሁ ሌሎች እንዲሰሙልን አድርጉ ሰዎች መረጃው ይدرسአችሁ እስቲ ይወቁ እና እንሽ ነው ፍላጎት ያላችሁ ይሄንን በተለይ ፒውርሊ ሞያ ላይ እንዲያተኩር ጥረት ያደረግን ያለነው የሚያዩ ሚጓጉ ወጣቶች ይስላሉ አድርሱልኝ አብራችሁ ስለቆያችሁ ስለሆነት አመሰግናለሁ እና ሴሽኑ እዚህ ጋር አልቋል ነው የመጨረሻ ተረ እኔ ኮጂላ አውጣ ነበር ፍቅሬ እንደው ናገረው ነገር አለ አንድ አይቃ ስጠይ ቢል ሰው ካለ እድሉን ተጠቀሙ እኔ ብዙ ጊዜ እንደዛ ስለሚሰማኝ ነው አንዳንዴ መናገር ፈልግና አይ ነው እንትን መለበስ ጊዜ አለ ይሄንን ሆም ብዬ ነው እንደዚህ አይነት ጊዜም ሰጣችሁና መናገር የምትፈልጉ ነው ግን ኮንፊደንስ ያጣችሁ ካላችሁ ፕሊስ ዩዝ ዲስ ተጠቀሙ ከሺ በጣም አመሰግናለሁ በእያላችሁበት መልካም ቀን መኛለሁ የሳምንት ሰው ይበለን ብዙ አፕዴቶች ይኖራሉ እና በርቱ ላለው አይዟችሁ አይዟችሁ ተስፋ አትቁረጡ እና እዚህ ብሬ መስከን ብዙ እድሎች አሉ ነገ የተሻለ ቀን ነው ላለው ቻው